Okay, so hopefully you're working on your um, prediction on what you think is going to happen when I put hot water in here. Anyway, a few days ago, you completed the pre-thinking lab. And one of the questions was, what would be good ingredients to make a cloud? We're going to make clouds today in a bottle. Um, almost everyone or most people said at least water. Some people said water vapor, um, warmth. Some people added some other stuff. All right, so we're going to make a, a cloud today in a bottle. And I have two different bottles. To be honest, don't tell my seventh graders, but last year and all the other years, I only used one. But being at home, I found another container. I thought, wow, this is, it gives me a unique opportunity to do something a little different. And I can't find one container that will do everything that I want. So first bottle we're gonna be looking at in a couple minutes, we have a closed liter bottle here. I'm gonna be putting the hot water on it. The lid's gonna go back on. This other container here, pretty cool. Shout out to my niece, Lar, who gave it to me one year. Um, it's just a, it's a, it's a big vase. Okay. Um, this is actually a lid from like a really big candle. They don't go together, but it's going to serve my purpose really well. Um, and it doesn't have a tight lid. So I'm going to put this on top of this one and add ice up here. So that will be the difference between these two. One will just have hot water. The other one, this one right here will have hot water and ice. And we're going to check out the difference of what happens in both. Um, you're making your predictions right now. All right. And then we'll get right back to you as we start. 